Patriots aren't without their threats. They've got a man who's averaged more than 22 points per game in the last six seasons, with 27 being the highest from Fort Worth, Texas, is Mr. Taylor Johnson. Taylor Johnson making noise in the D1 since 2018. Last two seasons with the Hemel Storm, but last, last game, 17 points, and this is a guy that's highly anticipated coming into the league this season. And the captain from the Plymouth City Patriots. Can we begin to call this man a British Basketball League veteran as well? Mr. LVC Dusha? LVC Dusha, I think we can. He's a fan favorite down there in Plymouth. The captain, such a selfless player, always looking to make the right play. But this guy is also a sniper from behind the arc. Without a doubt, we'll action coming to you very, very shortly. It's time to take a very quick break. Until the final moment. Slow in the corner for the win! Oh! Can you believe it? These are new beginnings. Time to raise the standard. Be better than the best. Mackenzie. Oh, beautiful. Ten teams, one goal. Become the champion. You know, Andy, play on champions. Let's see this in two decades. We are basketball. We are basketball. <laughs> We are basketball. How do you believe it? We are British basketball. Well, it's just gone 8, 10 p.m. It's going to be a late night no matter what happens here at the Morningside Arena. Leicester, let's dig deep into tonight's starting five, starting with the Leicester Rhinos. An all-North American lineup. Myron Thomas will start alongside TJ Lal at number eight. Xavier Pinson gets his first start of the season alongside that man, Jaron Holmes. And in the paint is number 23, Braylon Bridges, the starting five for the Riders. And for the Plymouth City Patriots this evening, fresh off a long road trip, Taylor Johnson will start at number 11, DeAndre Johnson at number two. Jacob Wiley, the forward, would also make his starting appearance. And joining them, Mason Faulkner, an important piece, as you'll hear very shortly, alongside number 15, TJ Atwood. The starting five for the Patriots. And now, it's time to hear from the coaches themselves. Of course, we're going to hear first from Mr. Coach Paul James. Here we are with head coach of the Plymouth City Patriots, Paul James. Long journey, sir, but the show must go on and you're finally here. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a nightmare trip up here, but we're here now. Let's get the game on. Last game, I mean, first off, you know, turnovers. We turned the ball over so much. We didn't get an opportunity to put a lot of shots up at the basket. When we did shoot it, we shot 50-plus percent. So we got to take care of the ball and then the rebound. And that's one area where, you know, if you don't rebound, you don't win. One important piece back in your lineup, Mason Faulkner. Yeah, we really missed him last week. You know, he's been the leader of our team. We've had him out throughout preseason, and not having him last week really hurt us. Took us out of rhythm a little bit, so we're hoping for an improved performance tonight. We've simplified a lot of things this week, uh, but, you know, for us, uh, it's important that we improve, and that's what we want to do. I knew that it would take a little while for this group, 
um, you know, with so many new players getting used to each other. But, you know, we definitely want to go out there tonight, obviously win the game, but we really want to improve. And I think that uh, after three good days of practice with the up and down, we up and down the court, we feel like that, um, you know, we'll play better tonight. Well, you've got to shoot the lights out, haven't you? I mean, I thought Cheshire shot the ball exceptionally well. Um, I'm not sure we'll do that, but we've got to find a different way to get it done. And where there is a will, there is a way, Mr. Mike Tuck. What do the Plymouth City Patriots need to do tonight to put the Riders under threat? Well, I think uh, they need to take care of the ball. I think turnovers was a huge is issue for them in that in that first game. And a tough one on the road as well. Second game on the road here. So they've really all got to lock in. They've really got to shoot the ball well. And they really got to play 40 minutes of total basketball. Well, that's without a doubt. And here's a stat for you. Plymouth as a city haven't beat the Riders since 2012 in championship action. The longest losing streak in British basketball history, a Dan Routledge confirmed statistic. Under the Patriots franchise, it's an 11-0 scoring uh, in favor of the Leicester Riders. Very quickly, Mason Faulkner, uh, Coach Paul James, you might not have seen it there. He said he's the heart and soul of the team and they missed him last week. They definitely did. No, I I think that was a big reason why they they weren't able to have that scoring power down the stretch and i think he's the guy that the guys are going to look to to put the ball in his hands at the big moments well teams are ready words have been exchanged it's time to get this game underway and we're back with you very very shortly Welcome, if you've just joined us, live and direct on the British Basketball League YouTube channel. British Basketball League Championship action. The Leicester Riders host the Plymouth City Patriots. Both teams' second game of the day as the Plymouth City Patriots get us underway. Myself, Tahi Hadja, taking it through with you alongside Mr. Mike Tuck in the building. Mike, it's been a long wait for not just the spectators, for us as well. These two teams are now ready to go. Yeah, and here we are, Leicester Arena. Both of these teams, 0-1 in their start. Both going to be hungry out to get a win out there tonight. Well, let's see who does get that first point of the game. It won't be Myron Thomas. A uh, traveling violation is called as he's held up there. Yeah, a little, little fumble of the ball there. And good good, uh, good hands from uh, the City Patriots. And the in-game announcer, Mr. Greg Ellis, trying to get the crowd going early on on the defensive end as Johnson kicks the ball out. Three ball goes up. That's no good. Riders back on the attack. TJ Lowell fires it up. A lot of forward jump there. Yeah, yeah. Didn't look like he had his feet completely set there. A little bit early in the shot clock there as well. On well, an exchanging of threes in the last three possessions. No one successful. And Pinson slows things down as point guards do and runs an offensive set. He goes downhill. Three threes in a row from both teams here. I think both teams are a little eager to get this game started, uh, get off the mark. Bridges to the right hand. Nice pump fake sends the defenders on a journey almost as long as the Plymouth journey to the arena. Solid move there from Bridges. Took his time, got the pump fake. Both guys in the air, easy finish. We'll talk a little bit more about Braylon Bridges as we go through to tonight's game. We were having conversations before this. He's a really fundamental uh, center, you know, played uh, at JUCO level, NCAA level, finishing up with the Georgia Bulldogs in the last two years of college. Yeah, the quiet last game, 75% from the field, three for four, but he's trying to start with a bang here as the foul is called. Yeah, and it looks like they're going to Bridges early here, you know, makes one one move in the post and finish right back into him in the second possession. They're trying to utilize the big man here, use their size inside. And of course, Plymouth City Patriots, that's exactly what they lack, size and more specifically, uh, a center-focused player. 
Yeah, we yeah we talked about that before the game. Is that uh, the way they've recruited? They've they've gone a bit more small ball. They they don't have a traditional center in in their lineup, and that could be something that could potentially hurt them down the stretch. Well, Bridges misses his first free throw of the game, and chance to make amends. Oh. He takes his tally to three points early on. Great start there from Bridges. You know, big finish around the basket, able to knock down a free throw. Good confidence builder for him. Right hand side with the Patriots. Two feet top of the key. Nice pass. And the throw down. Early doors. Great pass there. Great finish inside. And a big defensive breakdown from the Leicester Riders. Jacob Wiley. Two hands. I believe it was Faulkner who found him. Pinson, he's finding Thomas opposite side. Three goes up, and that's rebounded into the hands of Faulkner. Intercepted now by Thomas. Lal, he's Euro stepping inside hand. Finishes for two. My fellow Canadian, big finish from there. Good aggressiveness early on here. Johnson looking to open his bank account this evening. Can't quite get that shot to fall. Here's Lal now. Back screen along the baseline for Holmes. Holmes does receive it. He's got a one-on-one -on -one situation here with Johnson. And that's uh, not a smart move there from DeAndre Johnson. Reaching in when Holmes already had a tough shot. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a late reach in there. I think you've just got to let uh, Taylor Johnson D up on him there and, and not give him any assists there. Now Holmes heads to the line. Seven minutes remaining in the first. Johnson, big first free throw there. And he had a big outing last week, although it was a loss, 16 points. And you see here, he's already had the ability to get to the line. He knocked down 10 free throws last week. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really coming for him otherwise, but, you know, that's what great players do. They find a way, and that was his way in there. It's the half-time score in the other game that's taken place, died much earlier than this one. Bristol Flyers versus Newcastle Eagles. And welcome those fans who've just joined us from that game to see what's happening. It's a delayed start here in Leicester. The other Southwestern team making the journey to the Midlands. Now driving inside, ball moved out to Johnson. Taylor Johnson now for three. And it's nothing but net cash money. Wow, what a shot from Taylor Johnson. We talked about him before the game. Very anticipated player coming into this league. and The type of guy that plays with that chip on his shoulder. Big three-pointer from Taylor Johnson. Well, Riders fans won't be looking forward to seeing many threes fall in the rims here at the Morningside Arena. If it's anything like Cheshire, it's going to be a long night for them. Wiley now to the right hand, and he'll finish as Thomas tries to pin him on the glass. These guys are playing like what bus journey? They just got off, and these guys are hooping right off the bat. Love the aggressiveness from the Patriots so far. Bridges inside, easy finish on the left-hand side for the big man. If you're going down one end, you got to get back on, on the defensive end and get a stop. Very easy basket there for the Leicester Riders. And a foul is called here. Foul is called on number four, I believe, Xavier Pinson. Here's that play once again. Johnson, catch, shoot, lights out. You know, that repetition's key, and you can tell he's well-versed in knocking that down in practice as Faulkner rises up, looking to try and get a seal inside here, but a little trip and a stumble means that uh, the attacking player, Jacob Wiley, he can't quite get it. Yeah, a little bit of uh, impatience there from Faulkner. Wiley wasn't set up in the post there. Through the pass before he was ready, it leads to a, tur a careless turnover. Bridges, this is fast-paced offense here from the Riders. Rejects the hand of Pinson, does catch it inside. Nice pass off there. That's great offense for the Riders, smooth. Yeah, big time. Great ball movement there. And although the shot was, wasn't hit, good to see them sharing the ball. Now TJ Atwood gets himself going. And Atwood had a great outing last game. Good to see him picking up where he left off. Holmes attacking the paint. Kicks it out to Pinson. Pinson, his body kind of turned there as he let that shot go. As a result, it's off target. Here's Wiley now, pushing the ball up the floor to Faulkner. He now sets the offense here. Ball screen for Johnson. 
And off ball action taking place. And download to DeAndre Johnson. Fires it up. Oh, what you expect your 6'10 forward. Uh, and I think if you got the ball in the post, why are you dribbling back out to take a, take a three? Go to work down there, big man. Oh, TJ Law, the mouse in the house. And one recognized the mismatch there, put his body right into the chest of the defender, backed him down and finished with the right. TJ Law, what a great move, aggressive move towards the, towards the basket. And we're gonna have a quick break right now. We'll be back with you very shortly. Welcome back to the Morningside Arena, Leicester. Now, as you are well aware, Plymouth City Patriots late to the game, but they're not actually showing any signs of that at this moment, Mike. No, both teams coming out very aggressive, playing very quick, quick basketball. You can tell both these teams are eager to get on the floor. You can tell they've had a, a delayed start here, but some good basketball, you know, a few quick shots in, in the offense. But other than that, great ball movement, aggressive play. Well, I mean, will the adrenaline run out? That's the key thing, because that's what I guess is driving Plymouth right now, the adrenaline. We've got to the game. We've had a quick warm-up. We're off the bus yeah and I think that comes down to to picking your moments you know you can play fast for in certain moments but knowing when to slow it down and, and move the ball and, and lull teams it to sleep is, is always a key thing in these kind of games well, this is what Patriots trying to do now as Fulton looks inside that's great ball movement from the Patriots no end product on that occasion from TJ Atwood it's always frustrating when that ball doesn't drop but you you've got to be happy about the ball movement and, the, and sharing the rock around Nice action here from the Riders. Kimball McKenzie. That rolls out of the ring. Now, Demetrius. Possession, Taylor Johnson. Gets two feet in the paint, slips a little. He was looking for a shot. As a result, he's turned this over. Myron Thomas looking for the open play, and McKenzie, nice. Inside to Samadou, who's checked into the game. Right hand off the glass, and that's a great finish. Big play from Adou there. Took his time in the post. Nice little spin back over the left shoulder, and right hand hook off the glass. And I believe the timeout has been called now. Both teams want to talk it over. I have to say, I'm impressed with uh, Samadou. Um, early on in this season, I know there's not much around for us to judge him on, but he has great energy, he has great composure, great maturity as a result of having a couple of years in the professional game. Yeah, definitely. I think experience is so key uh, when you when you come into the British Basketball League and can carry you far, especially with the amount of import players that we have in this league. You, Most of these guys will be coming from leagues with a lot less, you know, one, two, three players, you know, in the British Basketball League quite a bit more. So. He's fitting in quite nicely there. Great move to start the game. Well, of course, it's important to keep up to date with what's happening all around our league. 
And at this moment in time, we mentioned already, it's half time. And Bristol, Newcastle, all tied up 43-43. Yesterday, live on Sky Sports, the London Lions pouncing on the Caledonia Gladiators, reminding them on their own uh, continent, should we say, or on the UK island. Now, before you go to Europe, take a butt whipping from us. <laughs> yeah, it was not pretty, not a, not a nice one to watch, but a big confidence booster for the London Lions, a great win for them. Caledonia, obviously, having to head to Turkey later this weekend. They'll have to shake that one off pretty quickly. A little bit of full court pressure here from the riders to slow down the Patriots offense. Here's Faulkner. They're setting up now and Noble hands it back into the hands of Faulkner. Sets the down screen on the right hand side. And it's Noble to the left hand here. Well, Mackay Noble actually has a lot of ties with the British Basketball League. Played previously under Leicester Riders former coach Billy Mims alongside now Harris, Sam Grant, Session Russell, a bunch of other British players as home shot rims out. And wherever you go in the world, you're always connected to the British Basketball League in some way. The man from Jacksonville, Florida. Seven degrees of separation. And now here's DeAndre Johnson. Nice turnaround and finish over the defender. Yeah, big finish there. He saw the mismatch in the house, called for the ball. Mouse in the house, finish over top. McKenzie, he'll pull up for a quick three, and that is way off. Oh, rare miss there from, uh, from Kimball McKenzie. A little bit off the mark there. But coming off the bench, he's got to try and get himself going. Without a doubt. Will do that. Kimball McKenzie, he's had a, a great career so far. Not many of you might be aware of what he's actually accomplished. You know, this man has been a Spanish Leb Gold champion in 2020 with Levitech Huesca. You know, he's already won three trophies with the Riders, the Bridge Team of the Year last year. Um, and he was also a Patriot League season champion for three years in 2016, 17, and 18. Uh, and that was at the Bucknell Bisons in the NCAA. Yeah, fantastic career for Kimball McKenzie and probably why the Riders keep looking to bring him back. He's a guy that they can trust. They know what they're going to get out of him. And I think he's still got that hunger. He wants to get more silverware in that cap. Alvisi Dusha is just awaiting for the ball on the baseline here as Blake Bowman has checked into the game and also Caleb Asprey has made his first appearance for the Leicester Riders. We spoke to Coach Rob about him. Uh, before the game, and this is the first real time they've saw, seen him this week. So he was injured on the first day of practice, and now he's finally getting a chance to take to the floor from Pflugerville, Texas. Uh, he finished up his college career at Oklahoma State University with 9.7 points per game. He's a great player, and he has some great potential. Yeah, and always tough when you start the season with an injury, but coming back here, another opportunity for him to get on the floor, and, and a good one at home. Well, DeAndre Johnson converting from the free throw line. He's now going to head to the bench. Towards the block, he's going to go to work here. Do real tough angle. Wow! And they see, they see they're looking for him inside. He's already made his first bucket. They're going, going back into him. Strong move with the left hand. Up top, Zusha. You can hear Rob Padanostro trying to call the set here. Johnson comes off the down screen on the left hand side. Fades out here. He's keeping it alive. Dusha. Clock is winding down, a nice ball fake there, and finds the bucket. Great patience from the Patriots. You said it right there. Patience is key. And had a couple pump fakes and noticed the lane open up. Good drive there. Almost passed it and then quick finish. Oh. It's showtime. Blake Bowman, the showman. His first dunk of the game. You're guaranteed at least two of them a night. <laughs> two? Okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. But Blake Bowman, what an athlete. Big finish down the middle, two hands. Dusha. Gets to the low block. Scrappy, but kept alive by the Patriots. Can Johnson keep it? No. His body language, body language shows us he flops around. Has to pick it up. Don't want to get it. 
uh, on our baseline, so it will go a little further up the court. Backcourt violation. Yeah, and that's, that's three turnovers early on here from the Plymouth City Patriots, and that's something we talked about before the game. And they've got to take care of the ball. Last game, over 20 turnovers, and probably a big reason why they're not able to keep the offensive possession for longer. McKenzie uses the screen from Ado, an offensive foul is called there, but real difficult call there, if I'm honest with you, for the official, because he set the screen and it's like he's going backwards as if Bush is pushing him off and the foul's called on him. Yeah, it's tough. We might have to see a replay of that one. See him coming up here, setting the screen. Looks like their arms got kind of locked there. A little push there, a little love tap there from Dusha, but I think the referee's position, the referee's always going to give the benefit of the doubt to the guard because of the big man, you know, of the size and scale of the big man compared to the guard. First personal foul on Idowu. The Riders give up a possession. Here's Faulkner. Johnson coming off that down screen once again. Dusha trying to find Johnson, cutting along the baseline there. But instead, Atwood, he recognizes, and that is good. And one big play from TJ Atwood. If you're the Riders defenders, you're looking Taylor Johnson. He's he's cutting towards the corner there. Atwood recognizes that his defender shifts over to Johnson a little bit too much, creating space for the attack. Yeah, definitely a strong move there from Atwood. Taking his time, seeing Blake Bowman here. Big spin. Right hand finish. Smart play there from Atwood. Asprey had to just come across there, try to get a hand in, and coach Rob Paternostro. I mean, that's a quite a calm reaction, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen quite a few of those reactions over the years. But Coach Rob here, you know, he went young this year. He recruited a lot of rookies. So for him, it's going to be a lot of teaching the game, a lot of getting guys up to speed on how he wants to play basketball. So there's going to be some uh, hands to the head, I think, a few times this season. Well, TJ Atwood completes the three-point play. McKenzie now as Dusha just imposes himself a little too much. And a foul is called against Dusha. And that will be Dusha's first personal foul. And that is the, the fourth team foul for the Plymouth City Patriots. 6.1 seconds. Let's see what riders can pull out the back here. Washington fading to the corner. McKenzie up top. Fake screen from Edowu. McKenzie is just way off there again. And, and that just trickles out of bounds. Of course, the clock has stopped. It's probably 0 0.7 seconds on it. Long pass ahead. Can they get something off here? Dusha. Before the buzzer almost goes in off the glass, and that is the end of a, of a quite interesting first quarter, Mike. Yeah, very, very back and forth there, and uh, you know, good, good outing from the Pump City Patriots. Right, let's take a quick break. We'll be back with you very shortly. Until the final moment. Slow in the corner for the win! Oh! Can you believe it? These are new beginnings. Time to raise the standard. Be better than the best. Mackenzie. Oh, beautiful. Ten teams, one goal. Become the champion. You know, any playoff champions. Let's see this in two decades. 
We are basketball. We are basketball. We are basketball. We are British basketball. Well, after the first quarter, there's not much to separate these two hit teams here at the Morningside Arena, Leicester. Live on the British Basketball League YouTube channel. Unbeatable action all season long. Mike Tuck joining me today. And we are seeing an uncharacteristic Leicester Riders defensive performance. Yeah, I mean, just a few careless plays here and there from both sides, really, but you know, a very uncharacteristic for the Leicester Riders. Obviously, they're a team that we see, you know, they, they take pride in that defensive end. Oh, nice clean up on the glass, rebounding a big problem for the Riders in the last game, and that's an easy situation solved with a box out. And I think that's an experience thing, you know. We, like Coach Rob talked about it in a few interviews, you know, Cheshire beat them to the glass last 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 uh, last week, and now we're seeing guys not boxing out, not staying focused, losing their man on the defensive end. Jules Dangakodo makes a turnover, commits the quick foul there to slow down the Leicester transition. And as you can see early on, it is only by four rebounds in the early stages. You know, it is the Plymouth City Patriots commanding the boards at this moment in time. And, and on the offensive end here for the Leicester Riders, you know, they've taken some four shots. Is McKenzie now curling round towards the basket. Doe back in the paint. He's had some success here and Throws one up from a really tight angle once again. Yeah, tight angle with the right hand over the right shoulder. Saw him make one with the left earlier. Go back to that left hand, big fella. Rotation now back to basket inside to Noble. There is a commanding rebound from Myron Thomas. That's got to be the focus for this Leicester Riders. You know, can't leave any boards out there. No second chance points. No more opportunities at the rim. No basket there, foul is called. A couple of times they've been able to create that mismatch action inside the paint. Yeah, we've seen quite a few of those and, and, and they're looking for them. You know, I think that's something Coach Rob's probably been talking about. Let's let's try and find those mismatches in the post. Let's dump it down there. Take advantage of what we got. Like a four low set up for this baseline play. Thomas straight inside to Bridges. Once again in the paint and the foul is called this time. Noble trying to plead with the officials, but pleading with the officials has never done anything for anyone, Mike. No, it definitely hasn't. I learned that lesson the hard way <laughs> after 13 years in this league. See, arms not straight up, just a little bit of an angle on him. You gotta be straight up there. And substitution for Noble checking into the games. Charles Yessi Pepin, one of the uh, later additions to the roster for the Plymouth City Patriots, has actually had quite a a sparse career at this moment in time. Charles Jesse Pepin, he actually started his time at the London Greenhouse Pioneers. He then played Elite Academy Basketball League action uh, in Canterbury, the Kent Crusaders, moved to Barking Abbey, then went to Duca for Laramie County. He then had a turbulent moment there and ended up uh, playing in EBA, which is one of the lower leagues in Spain, and then took a break from basketball and, and surprised everyone by popping up at the Hoops Fix Pro-Am. And he's earned himself a contract here and adding size for the Patriots. And how about that, picking up a, a British basketball league contract after playing in a summer league pro-am. But hey, if a kid can play, he can play. And although he's had quite a, a wild journey, he's here. That's right, and Atwood knocking down another bucket for the Plymouth City Patriots. They're in the lead by one. I'm sure all of the fans in Plymouth are tuned in for tonight's game, and they'll be screaming at their televisions at this performance right now because it's looking good for Plymouth. Atwood, what a great play from him, staying super aggressive in this one. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that step there from Faulkner? It was, a, it was really lightweight. Almost like Bambi getting to the spot. I'm not quite sure what the, the call is here, but let's see that once again. Look at this step here. Beautiful step through those defenders. Talk about a, a Euro step. That was like a, a world step, yeah. the, the, the distance he went there. But this is an anticipated, another anticipated guy here, Faulkner, getting to the line. And like Coach Paul James said before the game, he is the heart and soul of this team, and he was missing from their first outing last week. So 
Getting into the game today, he's going to want to make his mark. And that's without a doubt. And he's got three rebounds, one assist, and a point. And he can all scorers with nine points personal. TJ Atwood. He's also got four boards to his name. Yeah, TJ Atwood last game, 17 points. And interestingly, none of those threes did not attempt one three. So he's a guy who does his work downhill towards the basket and around the rim. Here's Bowman. Hand off now with Pinson. Jab and drive. Pinson all the way to the rack and no basket. Foul is called on the floor. It, it's, it's, it's counted if the ball is picked up during the steps. Let's have a quick replay of this, Mike. Let's have a look. He picks that up. And then the foul yeah. is called. Like he looks like he had, had already had uh, the ball up in his possession there, but. Riders will take it nonetheless. Here's Bowman. Pass fake to Pinson. McKenzie straight back into Bowman. Euro step. Left hand. Punch, and there's your two again. <laughs> hey, a little flare from Bowman there. The Euro step with the goofy hand, the left flush. Love to see it. Sneaky bounce from him, his douche. Now Faulkner fires up a triple. Oh, and it's good. Mason Faulkner letting the crowd know. And Faulkner said, you give me a little bit of space, I'm going to take it. Drains one down from long range. And now he's Myron Thomas trying to re return the favor. McKenzie gets it up on it to find Thomas out here. They look like they're going to reset here, but Pinson, he shakes off the defender, goes mid-range, and a, a nice rebound for Atwood. Both teams here, you know, great job there from Kimball McKenzie keeping the ball alive, but everyone's staying really aggressive, not a lot of patience. And, and those patrons are making everything right now. It's incredible where from uh, the Plymouth City Patriots, Atwood now in double digits in this game. He's had a great impact for them, and it's not looking good for the Leicester Riders now. Timeout call by head coach Rob Paternostro, and you already kind of know what tone of conversation is going to be happening there. Well, I wouldn't want to be in that huddle right now if I was wearing a red jersey, but what an effort from the Plymouth City Patriots right here, right now. After responding after that Blake Bowman dunk, coming down, Atwood leading all scorers with 11 points, picking up from last game where he scored 17. He's been a great addition here in these first two games with Plymouth City Patriots. One thing that is, is interesting to note as well is riders are zero for eight from three-point territory. And that is also an uncharacteristic uh, element of this Leicester Riders performance. You know, look, these shots could fall at any moment, any time. I think the way they're finding these threes, though, they've either been one pass, one shot threes. They've either been uh, highly contested threes, or it's just way off. Yeah, and that, it's completely everything right there. Timing is everything. And I think there's been too many shots way too early in the shot clock or shooting over contested hands. And I think that's going to be a frustrating thing for coach Rob Paternostro. He wants his teams to have patience, to have poise, and to shoot good shots. Have Riders ball in their half of the court. As Faulkner needs to put a little pressure here on Pinson. And there's the screen from Bridges. Quick tap pass back into the hands of Pinson. Holmes has flared out there to the three-point line. It's deflected out of bounds as the Plymouth City Patriots condensed the defense into the paint. Yeah, and that, that was the pass up top to Holmes. He was wide open. They, they followed the roll on Bridges and tried to sneak it in there. Deflected, keeps possession. Inside, Bridges now left hand is good to go. Bridges back in the game immediately, making an impact there. Easy finish for him on the left side. Dusha. Rising up is Atwood. Now Faulkner, Yassi Pepin is going to be the pivot point on top of the three-point line. Dangakodo, he finds Dusha, who's going to let it go for three. And that was a good look at the basket. Couldn't get it to go. Holmes now. Pinson blows by the defender inside. TJ Lau scrapes one in for two. Good decision there from Pinson. You know, could, could have taken it up over top for a contested layup, but just a nice little drop-off pass there for Law. Easy two-hand flush. And another interception now for Holmes. He skips away from Dangakodo again. Holmes, Thomas, bang, bang. And here come the Leicester Riders. And this much is much more characteristic Leicester Riders team playing hard-nosed defense down one end and getting out on the break. Easy buckets. Great pass here from Holmes. 
Thomas getting up, finishing hard against the rim. And that is what the riders needed, the response coming out of that timeout. Real smart decision. I know that we have these uh, opportunities for timeouts after the five-minute point, but you've got to take timeouts when it matters. And it mattered to Rob Paternostra at that point to break up the rhythm of the Plymouth City Patriots and give themselves an opportunity to reset, reinforce their game plan. And as a result, it's now back to a tight game. Yeah, and it definitely worked. You know, you saw that bringing them back, bringing them in, having a quick chat, sometimes all the player needs, you know, a little bit of direction, getting everybody on the same page. And it definitely worked there. Both turnovers leading to big, big baskets down the other end, keeping this Leicester Riders team in, in the game. And now, likewise, Paul James is doing exactly the same. He wants to stop that Riders run because he knows how ruthless those runs can be. Yeah, definitely. And, and with this Plymouth City Patriots team, we talked about it before, turnovers. These guys got to take care of the ball. Every possession counts here. A couple turnovers can turn the game around really quickly. The riders limiting their turnovers. They only have two. They had 20 in the last game, so that's one positive that the Riders fans and the players can take. Yeah, Coach Rob would not be happy about that. 20 turnovers is way too many for any basketball team. He will not be happy about that one. Here's Faulkner. I really like this guy's swagger, you know, Mike. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, man, he's bringing up the ball with hard steps, and here we go, driving baseline, look at that, no look, wow. dime inside, and the foul is called, the basket is good, TJ Atwood, another bucket for him, he takes his tally to 13, we just need to talk about him very, very quickly, the guy from Beaumont, Texas, played in the Slovakian first division last year for Iskra Svit. 18.2 points per game, 7.7 .7 rebounds. Slovakia Cup winner, the Eurobasket Defensive Player of the Year. They have found themselves a gem. Oh, definitely he is. And, you know, last game, 17 points. This game, picking up where he left off. A leading all scorers right now, 13 points. Make it 14 with the M1 bucket. This guy is going to be a star in this league. All right, then. Let's see if the Riders can respond once again. That's Pinson, nice crossover there. Snapping it to lose the defender, and they've turned it over here, the Riders. Pushing forward, Atwood is at the rack, but no! It's time for a pulverizing drive to the bucket from Jacob Wiley. Boom! Damn. Plymouth City Patriots had numbers out there on the break. Wiley was looking at his teammate like he was going to pass it, but no, it was time to take off. And boy, did he soar. Pinson. Now, Thomas faking the screen and flaring out to the right-hand side. There is Bridges working off a flex action along the baseline. Short corner, nice. Move there, and Thomas, but he still overpowers the layup. In the corner now, Faulkner with a dagger three. If it falls, that is a big-time three. Mason Faulkner, impact player. Big, big three from Faulkner. Bumps him up to eight points. Two for three from the three-point line. Deadly from that corner slot. Well, Paul James called his timeout, and now his team has responded in this game. Pinson out to Holmes. Holmes is going to pull up for a quick three and settles things down a little. Jaron Holmes knocking it down. Man, it's raining in the Morningside Arena right now. Big, big three-pointer from Holmes from the top of the key. Here's Johnson. Nice work from him. He fakes the shot, looks inside for the two-point. Wiley can't get it to go this time. Thomas. Bridges is looking to seal here, and the moment's gone. He's, he looks like he's calling him back, though, Thomas. And Bridges saying, let's move the ball now. Not there anymore. Pinson, he's going to go by himself, and that's another four shot from the Riders. Yeah, not a lot of offense being executed there by the Riders. A lot of guys just standing around and watching the ball, ball in action. Uh, good decision there from Taylor Johnson. He, he draws the contact there. Dusha was waiting on the baseline, but foul was called before he could let it go out of his hands. And it's time to take a break here in the morning side arena. Leicester 31 to 30. Six to score. Patriots in the lead. You put the
working, everyone knows you deserve it. There must be blind like curtains, certain anything you've got, you've earned it. Sky's in the can't stop me, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. Every time they wanna clash, I'm unbeatable. Chucks is running out of stock, and we're running out of the run. I feel like I'm gonna stop. I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable. Turn, watch and learn how many years been working for my son. You're a step like roller coaster. This one right here for the coach. Well, uh, a scrappy encounter here at the Morningside Arena, Leicester, but it's working in the Plymouth City Patriots' favour as Taylor Johnson is on the free throw line, putting some more numbers next to his name. He's got four points personal in this one, Mike. Yeah, a little bit of quiet start from him, but I think after the big game last week, he'll, he'll be a guy that'll be on everybody's uh, stat sheet now. Though he'll be a, everybody will be scouting him up. But still, like we said, he's in a impressive career in, in D1 basketball here in the UK and stepping up to the British Basketball League now. Very anticipated player. Mackenzie going downhill. And that's swatted away. Easy pickings for Jacob Wiley. Uh, Mackenzie is having a terrible game. <laughs> Mackenzie unable to find a bucket yet tonight. 0 for 4, I believe, from the field and just not able to find his footing. I think uh, these late games here, you know, Mackenzie's a dad now. Look at that catch. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. you, you've been framed. <laughs> exactly that. Oh. TJ Lau now, quick release three, and he gets a friendly bounce there to fall for him. Very friendly bounce there. But... Oh, but look at this, Atwood all alone. Where is the defensive transition from the Riders? And Atwood just so active tonight all over the court. He is dominant, 16 points personal now for him. Stolen away, picked away, Faulkner. No look pass to Taylor Johnson. Oh my goodness. Is it kept alive? It's almost shine to the own basket. Taylor Johnson, this is incredible. And oh, it's, very, it's very difficult to call, man. This is this is not an easy game to commentate as Holmes drives to the rack, finally scored there. Man, it's up and down. It's all over the place. I think scrappy is the best word for this game right now. Wow. I'm sure you, the fans at home, are enjoying it nonetheless. Uh, more so if you're a Plymouth City Patriots fan. What is going on here? Holmes, he almost hits it in his own basket. And Johnson then driving and tight angle there nonetheless and then Holmes going down the opposite side of the floor nice behind the back move and great rearrange to the left hand so earns his right to be on the free throw line yeah but here's my thing if you're going to save the ball why are you saving it under your throwing it right back to, to under your basket yeah. when there's other players there you well, gotta have a little bit more presence of mind for me I think TJ Lowe also didn't really help him he just kind of stood there and didn't get into like Holmes is getting the ball. I'm I'm running up the court now to create an open pass. And yeah, and I think that's this is where the the, the kind of the cracks are showing a little bit in terms of, of uh, the experience on this Leicester Riders team. A lot of rookies here coming in. Uh, Coach Robert Paternostro obviously going to be a little bit frustrated with tonight, but Holmes able to able to pick it up, get down the other end, get to the free throw line, and we know that's what he does best. Two minutes or just over two minutes remaining here in the first half four-point lead for the Patriots. Need I remind you, they have not won a game as a team of Plymouth. As another three goes in since 2012, it would be an incredible upset here. Wow, Faulkner, that was from deep. Big shot for the heart and soul of this Plymouth Patriots team. Mackenzie just won four for him and Dongwu though. Back on the boards, back on the glass, cleaning it up for the Riders. What a positive start for a, a, a Godu today. 
Idowu, brother. I've got you, man. I've got you, man. And an and one play on the other side of the floor. Wiley, Wiley now. <laughs> Come on, you know there I've got the bars, go. Mike. Hey, what a finish there, though. Able to f man, 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 handle his way through the traffic there and a left hand finish. And there's only just over seven minutes left, and it's Bristol Flyers who have the advantage against the Newcastle Eagles. Of course, both teams competing in the ENBL this season, European competition, a fairly new competition. And that's an interesting matchup for them. But right here, I know all of their viewers will be trying to take in and understand what's happening here as McKenzie turns the corner, mid-range jumper, still not falling for him. Big rebound there from Wiley. Yeah, McKenzie's still off the mark, not able to find himself tonight. You have to stick with that confidence, though, to know that the next one's going to go in. The foul is called here. That went straight, straight at, off the dribble, nice fluidity to his game he always seems to kind of know what he's going to do before the ball gets in his hands and i think myron thomas there is it's, it's, it's almost like a, a rookie error to reach around the back of a defender the referees are always going to be looking for that yeah definitely a, a late reach there and easy call there for the ref but atwood what an impressive start from the young fella tonight there's a first for him Point number 17. I should say point number 16. And very efficient night too. Seven for eight from the field. Like we said, not a big three-point shooter, but does all his work inside the arc. Has been extremely efficient. Well, I think I'm on triple-double watch because he's got 17.6 rebounds and four assists right now. And if he can replicate this performance, performance with a, a couple of assists he could be attaining that first triple double of the season yeah already equaled his 17 point performance from last game so not even a half point mark yet back to basket now against tj lau the help is inside for it oh but he's made his way through tj outward he's having an incredible game the rest of the riders do not have an answer for him right now. Atwood, extremely physical and big guard, able to get it done around the paint. Nice drive from Holmes. A much needed butt bucket for the Leicester riders. Holmes. Oh no, and the referee is giving the ball back to the riders. He's claiming that the Patriots player stepped over the line before they put it into play. So riders get a freebie here. Real all important freebie. 26.3 on the clock. Another chance to put some points on the board and close that deficit going into halftime. Yeah, and Holmes able to get the lead under 10 points here. Now another possession with 26 seconds left. Big, big possession here. Coach Rob, an opportunity to get it to six or seven. He's loud. He's one on one with Johnson. Hands it off to McKenzie, and Holmes is going downhill, and Asbury straight to the game, and he is a three-point specialist, Caleb Asbury from downtown. Big shot and his first points in the Leicester Ryder jersey. Clock winding down, five seconds on it. Can Plymouth pull something else out the hat? It's Mason Faulkner fading away. Oh, yes, they can. Mason Faulkner with a big time three eliminates Caleb Asbury's triple on the other side of the floor. And can you believe it? It's 43 to 52. Plymouth City Patriots in the lead. We'll be back with you very shortly. Clocks 
turn, watch and learn How many years been working for my son? You're a step like roller coaster. This one right here for the coach. Let's take this thing higher, higher than you ever been. Stand tall like Everest. I mean higher. You ain't gotta settle in. Go places they've never been. We go higher, non-stop. Take it to the top, even when the ball drops. My man. We are basketball. Team. It's every. We fight till the final moment. Slow in the corner for the win! Oh! Can you believe it? These are new beginnings. Time to raise the standard. Be better than the best. Mackenzie. Oh, beautiful. Ten teams, one goal. Become the champion. You know, and the playoff champions. I've seen this in two decades. A new era, a fresh start, a total reset. We are basketball. We are basketball. We are basketball. How do you believe it? We are British basketball. Lewis throwing it. Oh! Well, if you've just joined us, it's been an incredible moment here at the Morningside Arena. Leicester, some stats for you on the screen right now. 43 to 52, the score. Look at those percentages, Mike. Yeah, I mean, look at the three-point percentage from the, from the Leicester Riders, but the two-point percentage from the Plymouth City Patriots shooting 70% inside the arc, and a lot of that comes down to a man called Atwood. Without a doubt, he's got 20 points personal, six rebounds, four assists, and he is joined by Mason Faulkner with 14 points, three rebounds, two assists, and a steal to his name. They are doing an incredible job here, the Plymouth City Patriots. It, you know, if, if you're Rob Pat Nostra, you know, going into this half, he made it really clear um, about his, you know, philosophy around this. He knows it's going to take a while for this team to get together, and it looked positive at the beginning here with Braylon Bridges. Yeah, definitely. And I think they went to him early there. Big play from him to, to start the game, but starting to go away from him. And then another big defensive breakdown there from the Leicester Riders. Very uncharacteristic of Rob Paternostro team. But like we said, this is a team that has a lot of rookie talent on it. They're still building. They're in a rebuild year. It's going to take them some time. They need to have some patience. Well, it was a trading buckets situation in the first quarter. And they were doing that, you know, a lot of adrenaline from the Patriots early on coming off that bus late and it was a little bit scrappy uh, for both teams on both sides of the floors. But Riders started with organization. Plymouth were a little scrappy, kept it alive. Then the roles kind of reversed. Plymouth started to run some organized action, as you can see here. Look, Dusha uh, now trying to find Atwood and finding the space, finding the room and going to work and one play there, big time and one play for and, Atwood. Yeah. And I think that was the play when Atwood really got going, you know, the big and one play from Atwood there, able to finish with the right hand and got him on his way to his 20 points. And, and another, another defensive breakdown from the Leicester Riders, and that's something that Coach Parr Patton also talked about last week, not attacking the boards, but a little bit of flair there from Blake Bowman. It's two a game. The youngster, <laughs> well, we got one. I'm waiting for the second one. But again, Atwood just staying aggressive, driving towards the basket. What a find and what a recruitment he has been. And there were sloppy moments. Jules Dangakodo not really having a great game, but Thomas flushing that one down in transition. And I think they need more of that. No more steals, run the floor, put the pressure on them, but defensive intensity is key and kind of reading the play and understanding what's coming next. Asprey, this was a perfect moment of the game. Asprey knocking down that one just after they turned it over the Patriots. And now, you know, opposite side, Faulkner, hello. Big shot from Faulkner to finish out the half there and erase the Asbury three. But, you know, you said it earlier, what a, just scrappy, but an interesting yeah. game, exciting game to watch here. And, you know, typically, 
Plymouth have not beaten the Leicester Riders in about well, two years. Well, that's exactly that. So, look, we've got the, the Lions vs. Gladiators highlights coming up for you, but making his home debut last night was Kieran Sandy. Take a look at this. I think I was 14 um, when I first watched Lions play. So it was very surreal for me, um, just being back home, playing you know, in front of my mum. Also just playing for the, for the first club that I ever watched at the Copper Box. My name is Kieran Sandy and I play for the London Lions. I would wake up before school, um, go and shoot, just do drills that I found on YouTube. For me, I saw a huge growth uh, over the summer just doing that. And by the time I got to under 16s, I started getting national recognition. I made the Southeast team, the regional team. Then the following year, I got scouted to, to go out and play in America, and I took that opportunity. But yeah, it was, it was amazing to just how it all just came back around to, to being at home and playing for the Lions. We we're here today promoting free sessions for the local community uh, to come and play basketball here on this court. Oh, it's been open for a while. I don't know if any of you have played on it before or seen it before, but we had it a couple of years ago, designed by Inca and Ori. So we're essentially relaunching it with the collaboration with you guys. I definitely uh, think that community projects like this are, are really important for the youth. We can't be naive to, to what's happening in, in communities. So it's all one motion. It starts from the bottom, it goes all the way up. A lot of kids look up to us, um, and sometimes you don't even know. You know, you inspire people that, that you don't even think are watching. The lessons that you learn from young go on as you're an adult and it's the same thing essentially you know like you go through the same thing as, as you get older but you just have more knowledge you know more education i grew up in north london um it was just me and my mum so she had to work um a lot just to provide for us she sort of implemented that that hard work um you know, being on time, the discipline, that helped me a lot to, to discover who I am um, through those routines. I'm really grateful to her for that. Um, and, and she instilled the, the amount of work that you need to put into to do anything to be great. I give all the credit to her. And I'm just glad that, you know, she's here to see the results of, of all of her hard work and, and hopefully, you know, I, I make her proud every day that, that I step on the court. A big and one, and there he goes, looks at his hand, gets into his shot. Late in the shot clock here. Caledonia needs to get it away, wheeling in the corner. That's the guy you can't lose late in the shot clock. You cannot leave him, you're right. Taylor, nice spin in the key to the basket for the finger roll. Grantham slowing it down and then attacking through the contact and one. Last few seconds, Taylor fires up the three and what life he's given London off the bench here in the first quarter. Here's Morgan on to Sharma with a big one-handed throwdown. There's nowhere in there for Ali Hodgic and he throws it away. London in the open court again. That will count. Foul is called. Well, that's a tough shot. Mid range with the hand in your face. That's the Vos. Up top strings the three. And he's starting to find a bit of uh, rhythm after a slow start to his game. He's up to nine. And that's the good answer we were speaking about. Cabozo replies with three of his own. Oh, locked up to Sharma, who jams it in. Wow. Love that. We were waiting for a Josh Sharma highlight. Lobs it up to Moore, who jams it in. Sharma on the receiving end for once. Nice behind the back and the two-handed throwdown. down. 
good ball movement. Sammy in the corner, he knocks go. down a triple. He walks to a three-point shot, and there, there it is. Go. Yeah. It's only their sixth make of the game. The champions are back in town, and they have sent out a message to the rest of the league. An absolutely dominant display from the London Lions, 93-65. You put the work in, everyone knows you deserve it. Yeah. They must be blind like curtains, certain. Anything you've got, you've earned it. Earned it. Sky is limited, reasonable. Yeah. 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 Can't stop me, I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. Every time they want to clash, I am unbeatable. Chances running out of stock, and we're running out of blood. Watch and learn how many years been working for my stay on your feet. Never been put on a This one right here for the coach. Let's take the stage higher. Higher than you ever been. Stand tall like Everest. I mean higher. You ain't gotta settle in. Go places that never been. We go higher. No stop. Take it to the top, even when a ball drops. My man. We are basketball. Team is every. We fight till the final moment. Slow in the corner for the win! Oh! Can you believe it? These are new beginnings. Time to raise the standard. Be better than the best. McKenzie. Oh, beautiful. Ten teams, one goal. Become the champion. You know, Andy, to play on champions. I've seen this in two decades. A new era. Fresh start, a total reset. We are basketball. We are basketball. We are basketball. We are British basketball. Lewis throwing it. Oh! Well, welcome back as we get ready to see the second half of this incredible encounter between the Plymouth City Patriots and the Leicester Riders. It's a great game so far, 43 to 52 the score, but also it's a great game in Bristol right now. It's a three-point game, in fact, live on the British Basketball League YouTube page. And there's a double-double already uh, put up by Taj Green, Mike. Yeah, incredible play there from Taj Green, but also from Joe Johnson at the point guard slot. Larry Austin Jr. with 12 points and a pretty balanced affair through the first half, but that third quarter really let Newcastle down and able to fight back here in this fourth. Well, don't forget you want to watch all of the British Basketball League action. Tomorrow we're back with some more. Manchester Giants host the London Lions and on Sunday at 6 o'clock, the Cheshire Phoenix take on the B. Braun Sheffield Sharks. Well, there is Rob Paternostro as this game gets back underway. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on social media at British Basket M on X and at British Basketball League across all social, other social media platforms because it's been an interesting night of action. And here is TJ Atwood, who's blocked at the rim there by TJ Larland. A foul has been called. Now, we spoke about this in the break, Mike. Of course, TJ Atwood, for those of you who have just joined us, he has got 20 points, six rebounds, four assists. 
uh, at this moment in time. And now, what is the Leicester Riders, or what are the Leicester Riders going to do to try and disrupt him? Well, obviously, he's going to be the talking point in the locker room. You've let a guy get off for 20 points in one half. You know, he's on, on pace to score 40 throughout a whole game. So they're going to be locking in on him on defense, especially sending help side defense and the double coverage when the ball is in his hands. Nice crossover there from TJ Lal and Braylon Bridges. Not switching off, keeping on top of the play and gets himself to double digits. He's got 11 points personal. That's a big play from Bridges there. We talked about feeding the big man down low early on in the game. They kind of went away from him there. And big, big bucket for him to start the second half. Taylor Johnson was wide open there. That would almost got the rebound, but into the hands of the risers. Lal, Thomas, three, no good. Bridges, offensive rebound. Nice touch pass from Pinson. Holmes, he's from the free throw line there, and no good. And Riders shooting, continuing to struggle. Big steal there, though, for Thomas. He's going downhill, and a foul is called. Will this be looked at as an unsportsmanlike foul? I think they did try to make a play for the ball. Difficult to see with both players coming across. See, back in my day, that was just a regular foul. Wow, well, you know I guess. Mean? You, you well, went in the they, lane. Even, you, even if they blew the whistle, well, you're lucky if they blew the whistle, right? You went in the lane, you expected that to happen. No easy <laughs> buckets, but in today's league, they got to take a look at it. But great steal there from Thomas. And that's what the Leicester Riders need now. Little small defensive plays that can create opportunities down the other end. They didn't do a great job in creating fast break points for themselves. And Thomas able to get out there. But nothing easy at the basket from the City Patriots. Making sure that he hits the floor hard. No easy bucket for him. Well, a quick note on that unsportsmanlike foul. We just saw Kevin Kinsella go over and explain to Myron Thomas that there was a play made on the ball. And that's why it wasn't called for an unsportsmanlike foul, even though it seemed particularly aggressive. Uh, and Thomas makes, makes the first of those free throws. 8.28 here in the third quarter. Thomas not having the best night. Only one for seven from the field, but... Sometimes all it takes is a couple free throws to, to get you going and find your rhythm. Taylor Johnson. Moves it across to DeAndre Johnson and back up top with Faulkner. Who, uh, he's got a little something special in him. Uh, you said that earlier. He's got that little bit of a swag and big three-point shot from him to finish the quarter. Damn, what? Is that swag. what a find. Uh, get your binoculars fish. out. Here you go, Taylor Johnson. Put that in the bucket. Bridges to the left hand once again and earlier on in the first half we saw Braylon Bridges get actually a little bit annoyed with his teammates because he was getting into important position ceiling and he's having a good game um, and there he is yeah. showing everybody why he needs the ball in his hands well efficient game he's four for four from the field right now Big take. oh rejection did you hear Faulkner <laughs> give me that <laughs> what? what what a block there from Faulkner Getting it done on both ends of the floor. Taylor Johnson, that's magnificent. Getting the ball, reacting, slowing down and finishing. Love that shot from Taylor Johnson. And another guy who's on the scout sheet. He'll be trying to get active in this second half. Turnover from Holmes here, his Faulkner. Wiley was looking for space here, but Faulkner's... He's just... He pushed ball through there, and pushed through the defenders with the bounce. And then he's created some space and watched Taylor Johnson cut baseline. And a foul has been called. In fact, it's a foul the other way. And, and Paul James is saying, just shoot the ball there, man. No fancy passes. You created the space. Yeah, I think he's getting too, too wrapped up in, uh, in front of his teammates. But big block from Faulkner. Faulkner said, not in my kitchen, mate. Not in my kitchen. Mate. Well, I'm cooking up right now. <laughs> Well, it's meal to go on the road at the Morningside Arena as Pinson drives to the rack. He can't get it to go. Holmes with an offensive rebound, and that's really great determination from Holmes. Yeah, big play there. Way to stick with it, Holmes. Not giving up on the play. Powering up and a big finish. Okoda. Almost loses it again. The screen comes for Okodo. He's trying to find the next pass, doesn't want the shot. Inside to Noble and one play. Great play from Noble there. Big power up dribble, finish with the left hand. Good court vision there from Okoto to find him down on the block. 
Yeah, man, you know, Bridges he is taller than him, bigger than him, but talk about the leverage he used there to get to the basket. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when somebody's playing up top, up, up tight on you like that, you want to be able to use your leverage of your body, be able to spin around, use those long arms to finish outside the outstretched hands of the defense. And that is a three-point play for the Patriots. From the City Patriots, just ticking away here. Keep keep getting buckets, trying to limit their mistakes. Vincent finds Lau. No fire at the three. And that's no good for him. Rebounded by Taylor Johnson. Becky Noble. Some room there, but Johnson goes all alone, and foul is called. And that is a potential over the back foul there. Taylor Johnson's a little bit, a little bit frustrated here. A lot of contact on the way to the basket, and not able to get the finish. He's going to be frustrated with that call and the non-basket. Well, it's still Patriots by nine. Pinson. Green comes from Bridges, and that's an offensive foul. He, he added a little bit of intent in that one. Yeah, well, that's a, a big shoulder leaning in there. Faulkner really sold it well, dropping down on the floor. You wouldn't want to catch one of those to the face. Rob Nostro just letting Kevin Kinsella know what he thinks. Look, it is a tough call because even though there is a slight intent in that screen, he is set. He doesn't look to move too outwardly. Uh, but from, you know, from the referee's position, he, he sees the body coming out of its cylinder and Johnson there. And an uh, out-of-bounds violation is called Bridges flops to the deck. We saw Bridges there trying to take the charge, but he was inside of the charge circle, so it's a and good he's also, note. he's also double the size of Johnson. Yeah. Oh, actually, he was just outside there, just outside. But I think it was a good no call from the ref there. Let let the play keep happening. He didn't really wasn't really set there in time. The turnover there from Taylor Johnson. Frustrating night from him here in the second half. I mean, it still remains quite a scrappy affair. A smooth performance from either team, but here's an interception now. Wiley, is he going to show us his bunnies again? And this time, foul is called, and referees will confer very quickly whether that was an offensive foul or an illegal block. And in fact, I believe it has been called as a blocking foul. And once again, Thomas just hitting the deck a little easy there. Hitting the deck a little easy and maybe getting his feet set up just a tad second too late there. Wiley, great steal and great aggressiveness down the other end. What well, do you benefit more, Mike, if you just stand with both hands in the air and just take the hit and, you know, not, not hit the deck? Is it more off-potting for the offensive player to go through that contact? Yeah, I think I think you just you just kind of try and ride him out, and if you can, to his weak hand. So I would have I would have just kept Wiley there, trying to keep it to his left and finish out over outstretched hands instead of trying to make pull the refs into the decision and, and make make a call like that. Ten-point game. Now finds Lau. Looks down low. Bridges kicks it up top. Thomas for three, and that's nice. Solid inside out basketball. Keep it simple. Bridges knew he didn't have the advantage inside, and good kick out to Thomas right at the top for an open shot. That's seven points for Thomas on the night. He's got six rebounds, two assists, three steals. He is filling up the stat sheet. He is also 14% from field goal percentage and in the corner of Kodo. He gets Kimmel McKenzie in the air and Bridges comes up with a defensive rebound. McKenzie now pushing forward, throws it up top. And that's nice work from Faulkner reading the play, rising high. Yeah, great decision from Faulkner. They're able to get a hand on it. Well, we'll be back with you very, very shortly right after this. Everyone knows you deserve it. They must be blind like
certain, certain, anything you've got, you've earned it. Sky is limited, you can just look at the height, it's achievable. Can't stop me, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. Every time they want to clash, I am unbeatable. Trucks is running out of stock, and we're running out of time. I found what's going to stop. I am unbeatable, I am unbeatable. Watch and learn how many years been working for my son. Stay on your feet, put on a poster. Do a step like roller coaster. This one right here for the coach. I am a beat. I am a beat, yeah. Let's take this thing higher. Higher than you ever been. Stand tall like Everest. I mean higher. You ain't gotta settle in. Well, we're ready to get back the action. 4.23 in the third. And we have been thinking about different ways to describe this game. Quite simply, haven't we, Mr. Tuck? Yeah, and that's that's another turnover here from uh, the Leicester Riders. And we're trying to think. It's been a scrappy game, but it's been a little bit disorganized. Uh, one would say quite perfunctory, <laughs> unsystematic, <laughs> disjointed. Did you just pull out the thesaurus on us? Or? I don't think that's uh, <laughs> actually allowed as a commentator. <laughs> Well, there's final score for you from Bristol. The Newcastle Eagles remain perfect. 74 to 81 the score. Huge performance from Jordan Johnson. He had 26 points and Taj Green with 19 points and 11 rebounds. Double, double for him. Big time win for Newcastle. Yeah, definitely. You know, 30 to 15 points in that fourth quarter for Newcastle. So they really, really put the pressure on him down the stretch. Well, look, I don't think this game is running away from the Riders at any point. Uh, I think that there's a lot of time left in this game here. And we'll welcome uh, the Bristol and Newcastle fans who are switching over to try and understand how this game came to be. Well, let me tell you, uh, using uh, the the blasphemous book of the thesaurus, it's been uh, particularly imperfect and inadequate, and uh, both teams have been a bit sketchy throughout. <laughs> it certainly has, but it's been an interesting and fun game to watch. A lot of up and down action, but like you said, a little bit careless in time, a few turnovers, but we've seen some great plays, some great finishes, and some positive energy here from the, Brist the Plymouth City Patriots, a team that hasn't beaten the Leicester Riders in a what, over 10 years now? Yeah, since 2012, they haven't. Uh, oh, wow, there's Wiley with the two-handed uh, jam right there. Uh, just welcoming all the other fans as well. We are slightly delayed. It was a late arrival for the Plymouth City Patriots. They got stuck on the motorway, so we tipped around 8.15. So if you're wondering why we're early in the third, that's the reason. Asbury firing off a three, and a, a foul is called here. And then we called on McKenzie, who's, who's having a nightmare this evening. Uh, Mike Tuck, we were bigging him up as your fellow Canadian British passport holder. He's got zero points um, to his name at this time. Yeah, 0 of 7 shooting. Frustrating night for him. I think he's just never able to get it going. Uh, sometimes, you know, you can't find your rhythm. Typically, you need to find that early on. So there's still time for him here. But like we said, he is the leader. He is the heart and soul of this Leicester Riders team. And they'll be looking to him for leadership, but also for scoring. Man-to-man -man defense here for the Leicester Riders as they try to counter the offense here. Nice action. Faulkner rising up from the screen and a VC Dusha curling from the opposite side of the floor and it's just a little out of his reach. Yeah, a little bit of a quick pass there, but great cut there from a VC Dusha. Faulkner has great court vision. We've seen some incredible passes from him tonight. Now. McKenzie uses the screen from Idowu, finds Holmes, who's going to go from behind the arc. It's into the hands of Dusha, pushing forward. 3v2 situation here. Okodo trying to find Noble under the basket. 
Rubble's mm. forced outside, but it goes to the left-hand hook, and it's knocked away into the hands of McKenzie once again. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Dusha. Can he end the drought? No, he can't. Holmes keeps it alive, and out of bounds is called by Asbury. Another frustrating play there for Kimball McKenzie. Great job from the Riders to try and keep the ball alive, but a little step out of bounds and another turnover racking up. It's got to be frustrating if you're a Leicester Rider. You know, you, you work so hard to get down one end, you put in the work, and an offensive rebound, and then another quick turnover with no bucket. Dusha looking inside to Noble. He's going to go one on one with a Dowu. Can't quite handle the strength of a Dowu. That's a fadeaway jumper for Wiley. Asbury now. Dowu. One on one with Wiley, opposite side of the floor. And oh, nice little handle there. Can he get something? He can get a foul. That's what he can get. And a trip to the free throw line. Good little take there. Staying aggressive with a Dowu. And I think. That's what they need right now. Chuck them in there. Stay aggressive towards the rim. Well, don't forget, we're live on Sky Sports. Thursday, the Lions taking on tonight's victims of the Newcastle Eagles, the Bristol Flyers. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they fare. After the Lions put the sword to the Gladiators last night. Yeah, 100%. Both those teams. Playing in European competitions. London obviously coming off a big win versus Caledonia. And Bristol coming off a tough loss to the Newcastle Eagles. So, redemption tale for the Bristol Flyers. Jamu makes that one count. Well, one thing I will say is the man of the moment in the first half, TJ Atwood, 20.6 rebounds, four assists, has not added not one more stat or number to his stat line. No, they picked up a foul though early in the third. It's been very quiet. We've sitting on the bench currently. I'm sure that's not the last we'll see of him. There's a foul called on the side of the floor. There's the bench point score. The starting five for the Patriots getting the job done. Now Pinson heads to the free throw line. Plymouth in the bonus. As he knocks the first down. Bowman is also on the court right now. As Pinson gets the second to go to six point game. 130 left in the third. Now with DeAndre Johnson to Taylor Johnson. Bowman switches on to Wiley, but they find Dusha in the corner. He should have shot that really, and an offensive foul is called. Dusha should have let that one go. Pinson holding his mouth because the offensive foul was called against Dusha. Yeah, big drive there from Dusha, but an even bigger elbow to the face. Pinson here. Yeah. That screams British Basketball League veteran, Mike. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken the three. I'm going to drive. Oh, I'm stuck. Throw an elbow. Well, I threw a few elbows in my day, so I can relate. Yeah. Unless the Riders, although not the greatest game for them, is still finding a way to kind of stick around here. And you always want to be within striking distance when you're down. And only six points down with just over a minute left here in the third quarter. Still a lot of time for them to operate and get back into this game. And here is Pinson. McKenzie curling off. Mid-range fade away. Still struggling. And Asbury there picks that one off. DeAndre Johnson skipped across. Blake Bowman, Euro stepping to the left. And one again, Blake Bowman finishing at the rack. And that will get the crowd going because that was a four point game. Wow, what a finish from Blake Bowman there. And we see the style, the footwork, the finish with the left hand. And now the trip to the line. That's an and one play. Great play there from the young fella. Nice work from. The British guard hailing from Derby, another rival city 
of East Midlands Leicester. It's an offensive rebound here from Bowman. I thought it could have been a, another foul there almost, but great job from Bowman there, sticking with the play, staying aggressive, and hitting one free throw to pull him within four. Just over 40 seconds that in-game announcer is trying to get them going, but a foul is called here on Bowman off the ball, holding on to DeAndre Johnson. And it seems like you know, the Riders were on their fourth team foul. Now it's their fifth, so two shots to come. A bailout, really. DeAndre Johnson on the line now. Pinson just letting him know that wasn't, that wasn't smooth. That definitely wasn't. Especially when you fought so hard to bring it within four now. Giving them another chance to put baskets on the board with the clock stopped. So for tonight. First is good. Big Andre shot. Johnson. Yeah, big shot from the big fella. Another opportunity to put them up six only 40 seconds left here in this third and important to make those free throws for the Patriots he's got five points personal now in just around 12 minutes of action Bowman and off McKenzie fakes one to Asbury and gives it to Pinson. Screen comes from Adowu. McKenzie fires up a three. Oh, good. But look, shoot is shoot. And you've got to keep shooting it. It was a good shot to take. Great shot. McKenzie's still not able to break the ice. And he is now 0 for 10. Johnson. Nice half turn there, but double team, nice work from the riders as Pinson gets it. Asbury across McKenzie. Catch and an air ball there. And that is the end of the third quarter. 59 to 65 the score. Patriots still in the lead. We'll be back very shortly, right after this. Until the final moment. Slow in the corner for the win! Oh! Can you believe it? These are new beginnings. Time to raise the standard. Be better than the best. McKenzie. Oh, beautiful. Ten teams, one goal. Become the champion. You know, and it's playoff champions. I've seen this in two decades. We are basketball. We are basketball. <laughs> We are basketball. We are British basketball. Well, will history be made or will it be broken? Can the Patriots snap the Plymouth curse? this huge losing streak against the Riders in BBL Championship action. It's looking like it at the moment, but there's still plenty of time left in this one. Six-point game as Bowman drives to the rack. 
And the basket will count for Bowman. Yes. Goaltending violation will be called. Blake Bowman, that's second big play of the half here. Great, great aggressiveness going downhill towards the rim. But the Leicester Riders, again, not a lot of sets being called, not a lot of offense being run, a lot of free, free, free flowing, free. Oh, uh, goodness uh, gracious. Oh God, here time. we go. Free flowing. Free flowing. There we go. Free flowing oh, offense, but Blake Bowman able to get to the rack there. Faulkner. Looking inside now, Johnson has to let it go to be the buzzer, and it's never going to be an easy shot as Blake Bowman pushing away now. Lost Faulkner, Pinson to the corner, McKenzie passes it up. Asbury driving to the rack, and foul is called. Much better from the Riders, defense having to react. Yeah, good, good high-level plays there. Great push. He's got the T-shirt on too. I don't know. I've. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm sure that's against the rules to have the undershirt. I mean, we must have missed the seminar about it. Well, it was back in my day, but hey, it's a new BBL, it's a new logo, it's a new it's a era. It's a new British it's basketball a, league. That, it's that's a right. new t-shirt, baby. New t-shirt for Keller Vasprey, who's made his debut and he's he's getting limited minutes because he's coming back from injury. And I, I think he's had a steady performance, you know. Yeah, definitely. Hit some big shots when it when his number was called. Get himself integrated. And there's a big steal from Ashbury. Big finish with the left hand. Great play from Ashbury, and all of a sudden it's a one-point game. Atwood gets it over. Faulkner pulls up for three. And that's a rebound for Bowman. Riders now with a chance to take the lead. They've been trailing for most of this game. Idowu, strong cross, and it's good to go. Riders back in this one. Wow. What a momentum switch, switch, switch there. The Leicester Riders up one. Inside, Faulkner, oh, brilliant wear from Walner. Twi Faulkner twisting, turning, weaving, finishing at the rim. Big finish there from Faulkner and a timely basket as well. Blake Bowman flares out of the screen. McKenzie with the handoff. Pinson uses the screen from Idowu. Three, cash money, right on time. Wow, both these teams way into the fourth quarter to turn it up here. Trading baskets, the energy and the Morningside Arena, you can feel it. Well, it was very dreary at the beginning because of that late start, but it's picked right up as the riders come back. Wiley, oh my goodness gracious me. Mackenzie took that foul, but he could have been taking an L altogether, being a number one play highlight victim. There was almost a murder on the court here. Wiley taking off. Not able to finish the play, but able to get to the free throw line. I mean, that would have been a cherry on the cake of Kimball McKenzie's <laughs> performance. Bless him. Uh, listen, Kimball, we love you if you night. listen back to this. We do love you, Kimball. And we also wanted to mention, Kimball has children. This is way past his bedtime right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh, three, and a four. Oh, James there. Over 1,000 games in the British Basketball League. Paul James as the free throws miss. The crowd enjoys that. Here's Pinson. Screen comes from Adowu. Pinson waves it away. He's got one and one here. Mismatch drive to the right. And that's easy money for Xavier Pinson. Oh, great recognition there from Pinson. Bigger defender on him. He was able to cross over and go right by. Easy layup at the rim. Now it's a three-point lead for the Riders. An offensive foul is called. Momentum in favor of the Riders. Wiley's not happy about it. Definitely not. Wiley obviously taking that trip to the line the time before. They're looking for him inside, but elbows up a little bit too high there. Too aggressive. Locking of the arms once again. Yeah. They had one. That's the second one they've had called a, against them. Oh no, it was uh, Idowu and LVC. It was called against the Riders, the offensive foul. So similar situation as Pinson goes downhill once again. And that's a travel violation. Just took one step too many there. Yeah, a couple too many steps there. Had the right idea though. That Pinson's got quick feet. Now the 
you can see the body language change from the riders. They, they look sharp, they look confident, they look engaged. And here's Johnson. Nice screening action, rolling out, and the three's no good here. It's dried up over the first few moments of this fourth quarter. It definitely has. And McKenzie finally gets the basket undeterred from his 11 or so previous misses. Kimball McKenzie makes a big play at the moment. He is called upon right here through the contact. Hey, and big time players step up in big time situations. Kimball McKenzie not his best night in that, those first three quarters. But now with the momentum shift, driving to the basket, huge and one finish with the left hand, keeping this Leicester Riders team above water. Props where props is due, and there's a free throw. Now we've seen it go in. They can't expect to leave him open now. And that's it. You know, confident, confidence comes from good shooters, and Kimball McKenzie, although he's missed a bunch of shots tonight, has, still has the confidence to shoot Fonda. big shots. Uh, Dusha sets the back screen there for Wiley. Now Dusha trying to find the next pass. Finds Faulkner, quick release off the front of the iron, and a foul is called. And that will be called on the Plymouth City Patriots. Plymouth City Patriots here just looking a little bit stagnant, looking a little bit down. The momentum shift is gone to Lister Riders, and obviously Paul James having to call a quick timeout. Yeah, I mean, earlier on in the game, we saw these uh -oh. timeouts have a big impact going into the second half. And we're getting a little bit handbags out here. Trash talking. Turning into more than that. Kimball McKenzie bringing his boys back in as a captain. And Dusha, some choice words with the officials. But listen, it is a frustrating moment for the Plymouth City Patriots. They're right to be frustrated because riders have come back into this game, swung that lead around. And now Patriots training by six. Paul James is going to get into them here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's not going to be happy with how they played here in the in this fourth quarter. Obviously, had a nice little lead, and the Riders have come out 15 to three in this fourth quarter to fight back. An incredible fight back. Don't forget, un unbeatable highlights available on YouTube. You can catch up on all of the game's action from across the weekend and don't forget to check out inside the paint as well our feature on the x's and o's on a wonderful game of british basketball Coach paul james here timely timeout they're gonna need a good play to get them back in and it's all about possession by possession right now not looking at trying to win the game all at once they've got to break it down there's still six minutes on the clock left for them turn it around and it starts on the defensive end. You heard Alvisha Dusha say it right there. No easy buckets. They've got to get stops and take their time to create good offense on the other end. Well, look, it, it looks really uh, positive in that timeout for the Plymouth City Patriots, you know. They, they're all supporting one another, communicating, giving each other positive engagement. And that's the kind of mindset you need to have to get back into this game. Henson staggered double screen Asprey is looking off the ball on the other side and the basket is good referee has given it Xavier Pinson he's making it count wow Xavier Pinson has come alive here in this fourth quarter what a quick first step here from the guard able to get by the defender he can finish with any hand he's all he's there and he uses that arm, that right arm, just as he sneaks by the defender, he extends it to create that space behind him. He's not pushing the defender away, but he's using his arm to give him space and leverage once again. 100%, does it very well. Not extending it enough till he gets the hooking call. Just creating space for himself. Dusha. Faulkner. And the foul is called here. Pinson trying to go over the back of Johnson. 
And that's the second team foul for the Riders. They're in a good situation fouls-wise here, with 5 minute 28 remaining in the fourth. And here is that foul, yeah, just a reach around the back of him. Plymouth really need a basket here. Wiley, he was not aware that Pinson was right behind him. He's got the steal for the Riders. McKenzie kicks it out, an offensive foul is called opposite side of the floor, just unable to control his body off the pass. Yeah, great job by Wiley there. Obviously, turnover on one end, but able to get back on the defense, get in front of the ball, and take a charge to get possession back. McKenzie now heads to the bench. And Jaron Holmes into the game. And it's uh, a moment of which we see every game the uh, floor wipers making their way out just to make sure the court is safe and not slippy. As the defending player took the charge, got clean that up. Jaron Holmes back in the game here, one of three players in double figures for the Leicester Riders. Solid performance from him tonight. He will definitely be one of the, the brighter stars in this new roster for the Riders. Has had a, a great night on the free throw line once again. 10 for 12 last game, 4 for 4 tonight, 100%. Good moving forward, here's Johnson now. Two feet in the paint, fading away, and Johnson gets one to fall. Pivotal moment for the P Patriots. Wow, big play from Johnson there. Able to get himself to that paint. Little fall away jumper, easy to. Now Pinson setting it up. Lal. Holmes, Idowu fakes the handoff. Out to Holmes. Holmes is going to go to work here. Head down. And that's intercepted. Johnson gets the ball forward. Dusha keeping the space between him and the defender. And it's good to go. LBC Dusha, the captain on the other side, comes up clutch. Wow, what a play from Johnson. And what a pass to send it down. And then not the best foul there from Faulkner. You've got the momentum with you. You do not want to send the Leicester Rider to the line. Well, we'll be back to see what happens right after this break. This is it, showtime at the Morningside Arena Leicester. A game that's gone to and fro. And it's a four point difference. Leicester Riders in the lead, 76 to 72. 4.25 on the clock. TJ Lyle on the line. Plymouth City Patriots in the bonus. A really poor foul from Faulkner on the opposite side of the floor. Nothing to it. He's given the Riders a chance to extend their lead. Yeah, and we talked about it with Paul James in the timeout. You know, every possession is going to count now. So those little fouls, those little small errors, you know, those, those add up. 
not what you want to see here from the Plymouth City Patriots if they're trying to get back into this game. Look at the scores, you know, Riders have scored 19 in this fourth quarter compared to the Plymouth City Patriots, seven. They've got to find a way to stop the bleeding and on the defensive end, but also put some points on the board. Big wow. shot there. And that's one man that can do it for them. Johnson's going to have a second attempt here, and oh, good. And that's uh, an important defensive rebound. Now, we spoke about his scoring ability. He's not quite delivered on that tonight. 11 points only for him. Yeah, I mean, with 17 points last week, a huge outing in his first one. He would have been one of those guys at the top of this, of the uh, of the stat sheet, you know, when they're scouting. So, big play from Pence in there. What a fourth quarter he's had. Aggressive towards the basket. Nobody's been able to stay in front of him. 11 points personal for him now, and another four shot for the Patriots. Dusha recognizes where he is, and thankfully Wiley was there to clean that one up. Wiley keeping the Plymouth City Patriots within striking distance here. Only down six points, still in the game. Asbury thought that was his goal, but bounces out. Hogner gets inside. He really needs the lights up now. And we're back to a four-point game. Faulkner. What a play from Faulkner. Vet, vet move there, able to keep the ball in his hands and roll the defense to sweep. Pinson downhill, and that's turned over. That's hey. not what you want to see from Pinson. So many positive actions from here in the fourth. Careless turnover like that from Pinson. Very careless. And the Riders have limited their turnovers in this game. But it is, it's costing them at the point, at the start of 10 points from turnovers for the Patriots. And now, full court pressure as they look to try to put everything in front of this Plymouth offense. They've done a great job of doing that in this fourth and final quarter. Need to stick it out a little longer if they want the victory. And DeAndre Johnson fires the three. If I'm honest with you, as a coach on the sideline, I was thinking, please don't shoot that. Well, I was thinking that you said it. He hadn't been the most consistent from the three-point line earlier tonight, but hey, he hit it when it counted. What a big shot from the big man. Took his time here, feet were set. Big three to put the Patriots within one, and Rob Paternostro is not happy about that one at all. Yeah, he has a right to be upset. DeAndre Johnson, he was zero for three before that shot from behind the arc. He takes his uh, score tally to eight point personal. Let us know in the YouTube chat who you think should be tonight's game MVP. Mike Tuck has the pleasure of picking it uh, for us, but you can help us make that decision this evening. Who do you think should be tonight's game MVP? If you don't have uh, the YouTube uh, chat open, you can uh, send us a message on X at British Basket M or on Instagram at British Basketball League. Let us know. What's your thoughts, fans at home? Team making their way back onto the core where it could be here. Ready for a thrilling end to this contest between these two teams. And if you've just joined us for these final moments, we're delayed because Plymouth City Patriots got stuck on the motorway. And it hasn't hindered their performance, not one pick. No, they've come off that bus flying. They are ready to go. And although a slow start to the fourth quarter, a few momentum shifts here, and the Patriots have pulled themselves within one point. Exciting game here at the Morningside Arena. Here's McKenzie. Holmes, he's, he's got it in space, and that's a strong take for German Holmes. Big take there for Holmes. Great finish right around the basket. That puts him up at 13 points personal. Going the opposite way. And that's nice work from Faulkner. Faulkner looking like a vet out there. Good drive down the middle. Brings him up to 20 points. That curl again. Lowell can't keep it alive. Dusha pushing forwards. Game announcer really trying to rally the troops here. Skipped across Johnson. 
into DeAndre Johnson's hand, gives it back to Taylor Johnson, going downhill, blocked at the rim. Taylor Johnson finds room though, and he smokes the layup, but a foul is called as he tries to grab onto that, and they are in the bonus. That means two shots for the Leicester Riders. That's got to be frustrating for Taylor Johnson. You know, you did all your work, you got to the basket, were able to get your own rebound there, and just not able to get it fall there. A bit of a frustration foul after the ma after the matter. But that puts the Leicester Riders back on the line, already up one with a chance to go up three. We're sitting here with about a minute 33 left, so the Plymouth City Patriots are slowly running out of chances to equalize this game. There's the first TJ Lull. You know, he's gone about his business quietly, TJ Lull. You know, he's got 13 points, three rebounds, three assists, two blocks without making too much of a noise. Yeah, impressive start here for TJ Law. We talked about him. He's a Canadian player, came up through the Canadian system, playing for U Sport, played for Carleton and Brock University in Canada. It was the first overall pick in the CEBL draft in 2020. Wow, we, TJ Law's gonna get an extra shot here. He missed that second, but someone stepped in too early. And so he gets another opportunity at the line. You know, for someone who can a shoot gift. the three. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> a gift. A gift. Well, only if he makes it, right? Yeah. Well, another opportunity here. He made that one. There you go. A little bit of insurance. Up three. One possession game right here. See, it's the business end of this game. Under one minute 30 to go. DeAndre Johnson going to the right hand once again. Under pressure there. Nice work from Idowu. Clenches his fist as he looks to the bench and celebrates that defensive moment. Yeah, and if I'm the Puma City Patriots, I don't know if that was the play that I would be looking for on that. McKenzie! Again, Kimball McKenzie, he does it for the Riders. The captain leading from the front, 86 to 81. Timeout call, one minute three on the clock, Mike. And for a guy who didn't score his first basket until about halfway through the fourth quarter, didn't miss a step here. Able to take the contact and finish the bucket. Big time players step up in big time situations. Well, listen, we still got to think about this MVP award, and we're going to be having a chat with somebody after the game. Don't forget, live reaction after this game finishes. And it's, it's a three horse race at this moment in time, wouldn't you say, Mike, between TJ Lau, Jaron Holmes, Braylon Bridges for the Riders, and for the Patriots, it's between Atwood and Faulkner. Yeah, definitely. There's been a lot of great play out here tonight, making my decision extremely difficult. But the Leicester Riders here slowly pulling away. And one more stop, like Coach Robs just said there. They probably have this one sealed. So let's see how this all unfolds. One minute, three seconds is a lot of time in the sport of basketball. So many things can happen and so many historic moments made. Coach Paul James, can he snap the streak? Big possession here from Plymouth City Patriots. And it's with the right man, as far as we're concerned, Faulkner. Tries to use the screen from Atwood. Johnson again, another big three, but LBC Dusha does save that, but slips through the hands of Atwood, who's been pretty non-existent in this second half. Yeah, he's kind of disappeared, and I think, testament to the Riders, I think they've done a good job of, of, of locking him up and denying him the ball, but... You'd want to see more after a 20-point outing in that first half. Well, I can't see the Riders losing this now as the foul is committed. McKenzie driving to the rack. I think this is a, this is all over for the Patriots with 27.8. I am sticking my neck on the line right here, but the foul there sends McKenzie to the line for two. He's seen the ball go through the hoop. Chance to put another two points on the board. Yeah, big play there from McKenzie, but you expect nothing less. You know, he's the ultimate leader for this Leicester Riders team and has all the experience in the world, knows how to finish out big games. 
And there's the first. And McKenzie looks like he's sealed the deal. Some quick threes are going to be required here from the Plymouth City Patriots. Faulkner spins away, trying to find room, and that's intercepted by Holmes. He gets the steal, and he's going to use the clock wisely, get the ball over the line. There's no shot clock in this, and Holmes skips it across to McKenzie. And what a game of basketball we've had. It's not been the prettiest, but it has been a great game to watch as the Leicester Riders are off the mark after what looked like treacherous times. Rob Paternostro gets the job done, and Kimball McKenzie, as captain, clears up the drought and leads his team to victory, Mike. Incredible finish there from the Leicester Riders, and when we uh, when we finished that first half, we, it wasn't looking too good for them, but they managed to hold on. Momentum switch in the fourth quarter, and Coach Rob and Kimball McKenzie able to pick up their first win of the season at the Morningside Arena. Without a doubt, you know, TJ Atwood was literally the story of that first half. He was so prolific. 20 points, seven rebounds, four assists, or should I say six rebounds, four assists in the first half. In that whole second half, he only uh, delivered one rebound in the time that he was on the floor. Mason Faulkner was left alone to do it all. Taylor Johnson drive, uh, dried up in that one. Jacob Wiley was trying to chip away, but they had no answers in response to the Leicester Riders fight back. And it was Xavier Pinson who led that fight back as well. Uh, he started to make some big plays, get into the rack, drawing the fouls and putting some points on the board. Yeah, definitely. Pinson was definitely the man of the fourth quarter, able to make some big plays for the Leicester Riders and get some guys going, get himself going. That quick first step, they couldn't stay in front of him. But that momentum switch in the fourth quarter, they were able to break out and outscore, I think it was 15 to three within that first four minutes. Yeah, 29 to 16 final quarter in that game uh, for the Leicester Riders. They made a big difference there. This team will enjoy that moment. And I think for this group right here, you know, obviously a rebuild year for the Leicester Riders and a lot of young guys on this team. A tough, tough loss last week. So a good win for them this week. Well, we have a sneaky MVP that has been selected. Mike Tuck, we can confirm that we are now with your fellow Canadian brother, Mr. TJ Lal, my brother. Well done. You know what? There were many candidates for uh, MVP tonight. It was a team performance that got you over the line. But there were some vital moments towards the end of the games that gave you 14 points, four rebounds, three assists. I mean, yeah, it was a hard fought, it was a hard -fought game. Uh, in the first half, we were struggling a bit on defense. And then the second half, we turned it up. And, you know, good things happen for us. So it's good to get a, our first win. Without a doubt. Now, obviously, the, the Plymouth City Patriots, they came off the bus pretty quickly, stepped on the court, and came with some great intensity, made some big plays. What did it take for you guys, or what was discussed in the changing room to help you turn this game around? I mean, just our energy, um, our communication on defense, and rebounding. Uh, those are the three main things we talked about at halftime, and that really helped us. Without a doubt, and I'm here with Mike Tuck, a fellow Canadian, uh, and he has a quick question for you as well. Yeah, TJ, what, what was the turning point uh, in the fourth quarter, and what was Coach Rob kind of saying to you guys? Obviously, you know, up until that point, you guys have been struggling, but there was a big momentum shift in that fourth quarter. So what was Coach Rob saying to you guys in that timeout? I mean, it was honestly, it was just our defense. Like, in the end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, we really picked up the pressure. They were turning over the ball, and we got some easy transition points, and yeah. Well, congratulations. It could have been a number of plays tonight, but you are the MVP of tonight's game. Congratulations, TJ. We'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Oh, well, Thank lovely you. guy. <laughs> Seems like very nice Canadian boy. Oh, yeah. Great, great play from him. And, uh, yeah. you know, wasn't uh, always on the forefront, but I think, you know, with the 14 points, his index at 20, filling up the stat sheet a little bit, four rebounds, three assists, consistent effort from him, and a consistent effort from the Leicester Riders in that fourth quarter. Yeah, there's the game summary for you. Those stats there, they. Uh, it didn't look good from the three-point territory after half-time, over 40%. The Patriots uh, were shooting from behind the arc, and 
It's been a great game, but let's take a quick look at the story of the half and the Patriots coming out hot. Mason Faulkner, his first game has been exceptional. Yeah, what a what a first game for Faulkner. Obviously, 20 points and five assists, and that was a great one from there. And then Bridges here coming back and answering another big performance there from, from Bridges as well. 13 points for him on the night, but Faulkner doing it all. Picking up the blocks on the defensive end. Pinson here. A little careless turnover, and Wiley. Yeah, he was cleaning that one up there underneath the hoop. But Wiley, good, good performance from Wiley as well. And you have to take your hats off to this Patriots team. You know, big travel up today. The bus was late, but they were still able to come out and perform earlier on in this game. Lyron Thomas hit a big three there. Caleb Asprey then found. Blake Bowman, vital moments off the bench for, for Blake Bowman. He played 10 minutes and got eight points personal, three rebounds. Real important piece for the Riders. And he did a little bit of everything, plays his role really well. Pinson then started to heat up, knock down that big triple. Yeah, Pinson, 11 points on the night. Like we said, he stepped up in these vital moments down the stretch. Great finish from there, there with the right hand, the M1 play. And it was those plays were able to separate them from the Puma City Patriots down the stretch. And they look to this guy once again, Mason Faulkner, to try and claw them back into it. Johnson hit this big three. We weren't sure he should have shot it, but he said, be quiet, Mike and Ty here. I've got this one. <laughs> McKenzie, you know, he found his form. He was over 11 and had some vital points to lead his team to victory. And he is coach Rob Paternostra, who's joining us tonight. Rob, well, it was a bit of a scrappy affair, Rob, for, for the most part of the game. And then when things start to settle down, uh, what was it that you said to your team to help them turn around that lead that the Patriots had? Yeah, I thought we had to play better defense, obviously, and had to be a little bit more tough and a little bit more aggressive. You know, it certainly was a challenge to go out there in the second half. and. Uh, give it your all on that end of the floor. And I think we held them to 29 in the second half or so. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but um, we did a really good job on the defensive end. And I thought that was important. You know, when our defense is getting stops, we're pretty good in transition. So the defense in the second half is what won us the game. Well, you're right with the 29-point the mark. That's correct. And I think it shows character from your captain who went 0 for 11 and then came up big. Huge and one play, kept shooting, kept fighting, and showed everybody what it takes to have Ryder's DNA. Yeah, he, you know, he had a rough uh, time here getting the ball in the basket. I thought he had great looks, too. You know, he got to the basket, had some jumpers, but he's not going to lose confidence. You know, when you're a pro, like he's a pro, you just keep going. And that's what he did, and I thought his leadership was good today. But I thought Asbury and Pinson really gave us some good minutes. Asbury hadn't played in a while. I thought defensively he was really solid. And I thought Pinson, when he came back in in the second half, really gave us a spark. And I thought Law all game was really solid. So, look, we'll take it. It wasn't perfect, but, um, you know, I, it definitely showed a lot of character to be able to come back with that deficit in, at halftime and get the W. Rob, with, with a kind of a, a rebuild season here and so many rookies on the team, is patience for you going to have to be a big focus? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, we, we expect that, and I think we have to understand that um, this is a team that, you know, we've only been together a few weeks, started so early. So, yeah, we got to have patience. I think we have a lot of bodies. We want to get as healthy as we can and uh, keep grinding. You know, a game like tonight will certainly give the team some confidence that, you know, they can win a game in the fourth quarter. That's what's nice about tonight. Great victory, Rob. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Well, there you have it. A happy Rob Padanostro. There's the scores as they stand so far. Lions, of course, beat the Gladiators. Bristol Flyers fall to a close victory against the Newcastle Eagles. And an 88 to 81 victory for the Leicester Riders who come back from behind producer. A huge fourth quarter to see out the game. Don't forget more action though in the British Basketball League right here on the YouTube channel. Manchester Giants vs London Lions tomorrow, eight o'clock. Don't miss it. Then on Sunday, the Cheshire Phoenix take on the B Braun Sheffield Sharks. Mike Tuck, I know you're going to be looking forward to that game. Oh, yeah, we're locked in. I mean, the Cheshire, red hot Cheshire Phoenix right now. My Sharks looking to pick up their first win. So an exciting weekend of basketball. 
an exciting weekend nonetheless. But of course, don't forget you can catch all of the action live here on the British Basketball YouTube channel. Right then, Mike, I think we're round up for the day. We've had a late start, a late finish. That's it. We're going overtime here, yeah, baby. Uh, overtime, baby. I'm so glad we didn't have overtime tonight. <laughs> Thank you for watching tonight's action, wherever you're watching from all around the world. Uh, we hope you have a great evening. And don't forget, get involved with us on social media at British Basket M on X, at British Basketball League across the all other platforms as well. And don't forget, next Thursday, we've got uh, Sky Sports action returning as well. We wish you all a, a great evening and a very good night.